Okay, so some craziness is happening. You won't see this in present time, but you will see this video in the future. I've been feeling very weird lately and off. And before we took our trip to California, I took two pregnancy tests and they, girl, come on, you gotta come over here, come over here. I took two pregnancy tests and they were negative. But like, I don't know, I was just like, something is really weird. Like either my hormones are just like completely off the charts, like, cause my birth control has just been weird. Uh, I've been like off, on, off, on. It's just like, it messed me up. But like, my boobies were like still really hurting and sore. And I'm like, dude, what is going on? So I bought another brand of pregnancy tests. So I had two now, okay, so I took a clear blue pregnancy test last night and if you're familiar with those it literally has the words like not pregnant or pregnant and I took it last night just to be like just honestly just to like clear my mind for like basically shits and giggles um, and I said pregnant and I was like what so this morning I took another one from a different brand and I had two check marks which is also pregnant. So I was like, oh, um, after spending like all last weekend, cause we were back home in California with family and everyone of course keeps asking me we're having kids. I'm like, no, I am not having any kids right now. I don't want kids for another like two, three years, blah, blah, blah. Like you won't see me having a kid anytime soon, blah, blah, blah. And then boom, mother nature said, psych. You're having it right now. So I haven't even told Russell yet. So I'm telling you guys first. <laughs> but by the time you see it, you will be last. But anyways, I wanted to take you guys along with me. It's very, very nerve wracking, um, but also very exciting. It's just a lot of emotions, okay? But it, it explains a lot that's been going on lately. like. I lost my appetite, I was feeling very nauseous, blah, 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 but I was also sick. Like, I'm still kind of sick, so that's what I just, like, chopped it up to be. I was like, nah, I think it was just because I was really sick, like, you know, whatever. But anyways, so, this is how I plan to tell Russell. When we were first dating, I guess not really first dating, we were already together for, like, a year or two years, I made this box, okay? So it's always and forever. This is when I was like first learning calligraphy. Um, it's not the best. Established 2015, like it's just really cute. So this is what I made, right? I gave this to him right before we were both leaving for the military. And it was like, open when, you know, you miss me. Open when you're feeling sad. Open when blah, blah, blah. And then it had milestones on there. So it was like, open on our wedding day when we get the keys to our first house. But I did make one. It's in here somewhere. Completely forgot about some of this stuff. But I did remember this one. Good Lord, where is it? Okay, I found it. So I made one that says, open when we find out we're having a baby. Can you see? Okay, and so this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna give him this card today, or tonight, and then I bought a shirt because I'm extra like that. And he has one that says like dog dad or best dog dad, something like that. So I'm gonna make one. And I don't know if I should put like DILF all the way across or just like DILF like on the side where like the pocket kind of area would be, you know, like on the chest. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> I'm going to have a little secret camera. Not this big ass camera. If Russell sees my phone, he's going to be like, the fuck? What are you doing? So it's just going to have to be like hidden in a corner where you can't really see. But to make sure I'm still getting like all the reactions and stuff. Because this is kind of crazy. This is actually really, really crazy. <gasps> Sophie's going to be a big sister. Oh, yum. God's timing is always right, right? So <laughs> everything happens for a reason and I guess we'll just have to trust the timing of life. And I know they say like dogs can tell when you're pregnant. They want to be all up on you, blah, blah, blah. But you can't tell the Sophie because Sophie's already attached to your hip. Like she's always attached to the hip. So I can't actually, yeah, like <laughs> she's always this way. So there's no actual difference with her. 
But yeah guys, I'm really excited to take all of you along this crazy field journey that is coming up. It is September 15th today, I think. Technically, I found out on the night of the 14th, but it was confirmed today. So, I don't know when you guys will be seeing this. Maybe November? Okay, around that. Because I also plan not telling my family until they come down for Thanksgiving dinner in November. So, that's my plan. Hopefully, I can keep everything a secret till then. Okay, I decided to go with big letters. I think it's just more, I don't know, more fun. This. This is what it's gonna look like. Gonna go right across the chest. I am doing... Okay, and then it tells you just to load it up. You literally just follow the instructions. Like, it's not hard at all. It's been a million years. Let me show you guys a closer look. See? It's cutting it. And there it is. In all its glory. And then you just start peeling and it's like so satisfying. The little crease part right in the middle of it. And to me, that looks perfect. <laughs> okay. I'm like a good motion. Okay, you're a hoe. Don't let me down, D. Hell yeah. That L's a little scraggly, but I mean, I think it looks good. So we are done with our DILF shirt. I think it looks pretty good. And now. We wait. Mm, I can't wait to see his reaction. Russ about to be stressed. Operation Surprise Russell. It's been a couple weeks since I came on here last. I am now officially 15 weeks. So baby is the size of an apple, they say, which is so crazy. So like right now, the baby is starting to grow eyebrows, hair, like facial type hair. They're starting to make facial expressions. Legs are growing longer than the arms now. Like the baby is looking more like an actual baby. Like this baby is looking like a human now. It's like a tiny little human. But the size of an apple. Which is so crazy. So Bump is coming along. You would think, right? Like when you see this, you're like, oh, the baby's getting big. The baby blah 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 blah. No. This is, the baby is literally like all the way down here. All of this is literally like your organs and intestines, your insides just getting pushed up, which is crazy because I didn't think that's what that was. When you see a belly bump, you just automatically like, that's the baby. That's wow, the baby's showing, the baby's showing. This is not the baby, this is literally just all of my vital to intestines and organs just getting kicked all the way up to make room for the baby. Like, the baby's literally all the way down here, not showing at all. So, it's not the baby that's showing. 
it's your intestines. My family is coming next week, so we finally get to tell them, and I'm so, so freaking excited. I'm actually making the onesies today, so I can show you guys when I'm done. For his parents, I'm making one because they're always asking. So theirs is gonna say, you can finally stop asking when we're gonna have a baby now, <laughs> and I'm gonna put the date, and that one's gonna be funny. And then my mom has been sending a lot of dog videos lately. Like, oh, you need to hurry up and get Sophie a baby. Oh, you need to hurry up and do this, this, and that. And I'm like, okay. So for her, I'm making a onesie for my parents that say, and then there was four. I, I forgot exactly what it looks like, but it's like us two, the dog handprint, and then like, there's a baby. My in-laws actually aren't coming. They say they want to come during spring break, which is sometime in April next year, but it's like beginning of April. So, I mean, once we tell them, you know, they need to push that back a little bit just so they're not here, like, right before the baby. That would suck. But, yeah, for my in-laws, I made a cue card. Actually, let me go get it. Attention, loyal customers. We are happy to announce you have qualified for an upgrade, okay? <laughs> and then they're going to open it. And it's parents to grandparents. And then I have two of like the most recent ultrasound photos. Since they can't come, we're just going to send a onesie in the mail with that letter and then have them open it like on FaceTime with us. So sometimes it's what you gotta do with long distance. It sucks, but I mean, hey, got to get done. So my grandma's coming in first. I'm telling her right away, like we're going to go get lunch, go to Ikea, things like that. I'm telling her immediately. I can't hold it in. I mean, good lord. They fly in really late, so they're not gonna get in until like one in the morning. They're gonna get in really late, so. First thing in the morning, normal time, that's what I'm gonna tell them. Cause I can't hold it in. I just have to say it. I have to say it, it has to be said. Since I've said something last, now I have dyed my hair. Which I've always wanted to dye my hair like a pretty ginger brown color, so I'm honestly really happy about it. I love it. But yeah guys, so I cannot believe like we are almost there. Russell knows, um, our good friends here know, some of my close friends back home. My sister, we told his brother, his little brother and his wife, they live in England, so it was okay for them to know because they're not like around the house enough, you know? So like they have to really go out of their way on the phone to say something, so. We told them, and then we told um, his older sister, which she does live close to home, but we told her, I mean, we had to tell her. We told them we should tell her, and we really was hoping that she could, like, push her parents to come and visit us so we can tell them in person. Um, doesn't seem like that's working, <laughs> so that's fine, but, I mean, now she knows, and we'll just do it this way. It'll still be nice. It'll be exciting, but I'm just really excited. So that is my 15 week update and I will see you guys next week with the video of how I reveal it and tell my parents and their reactions because that's going to be crazy. <laughs> Are you joking me right now? Really? <laughs> 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 It is a lot. Like being responsible for a little human. Mm, that's scary. Thank you for watching and following along with this journey. I can't wait for you to finally see this video. Bye. <laughs>